Watch this VR 180 video in 3D in YouTube VR. Just search Open PC Reviews, click on the channel icon, select Playlists, then go to the 3D video playlist and find the video there. See video description for more options. Start recording. Hello? I'm gonna get an art plunge. All right, let's do it. Let's art plunge it up. Let's plunge this with some art. Oh, it's the moon. Oh. Okay. Let's see if these work. Cool, I got these working. Girl reading a letter at an open window by Johannes Vermeer. Is that circa 1659? This painting is on display at the that place right there in Dresden. Aim and press to enter our VR interpretation. I love art plunge so much. All right, here we go. Get ready, here we go. Whoops. Can I have some of your fruit? This fruit is kind of old though, if it's from what, 16 something? I'm back in time. Wow, this is sick. These guys are serious talent. Serious freaking talent. Look at those, look at those birds out there. This window's kind of dirty. What uh, what are you reading? Is it like how to clean a window? Is that what you're reading? How come you're moving, but your thing there isn't moving, huh? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Hey, what's what's going on? Whoa! What happened? You got scalped. You got scalped right here. It's just a, an object. What's behind this wall? Oh, it's the part of the set. This is a virtual set. It's all virtual reality. Whoa, it's a, it's a Dementor. Oh, you're watching it? Yes. Nice, okay, let's go to the next one. Wait. Oh, the thing you're trying does not work? Wait. Wait, I want to go back to this. Okay, let's see. No. Okay, let's see. The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli, circa 1480. Ooh, this is really older than that one. This painting depicts the Roman goddess Venus after her birth. It is on display at the Uffizi Gallery, Florence, Italy. And wow. This is when? Before the 1500s? Dang. Whoa. This is freaking amazing. Look at this. These guys are like seriously skilled. Super skilled. Wow. Yep, and this looks so good in the, uh, what am I using? Samsung Odyssey Plus. Wow, this is sick. All right. This one, okay. Let's do this. All right. Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, 1506. This portrait is considered the most famous work of art in the world. It is on display at the Louvre Museum in Paris. Probably said that wrong. All right, let's check it out. It's behind it. Yeah, nothing. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so we're actually looking at it. This is it's got hills back there, and okay, let's check it out. Ooh, there's the windy hills. Oh, it's in 3D. We're in the painting. Wow, this is so cool. 
In this version, they made it so she keeps watching you wherever you go. The original version didn't do that. Wow. Ew, look at this. Candle. Wow. The Dementor! Yeah, this is pretty cool. Alright, let's do it. Let's wander over to here. Getting my controller wet. It's okay, it's waterproof. Wow, check out the background. The painting is like actually moving. Oh, the cloud, are the clouds moving? The clouds are moving too. So, uh, what's your name? What happened to your eyebrows? What, seriously, like, well, where did they go? Are they burned off? Or shaved off? It's okay. You probably don't know what I'm saying anyway. So let's check out the helicopter. Yep, this is the helicopter. Or what they think was like it's supposed to be like a helicopter. Leonardo da Vinci. Alright. Okay, we're going to click out of this one. All right, check this one out. I've played this app many times, but I've never actually read these. Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh, 1889. This is freaking sick. I love this one. This iconic and beloved painting is a part of the permanent collection at New York's Museum of Art of Modern Art. Aim and press. Now, I used to have a mug that had this stuff on it like I would hold it this is me holding the mug and um, I painted I had glow paint on the stars and it was cool anyways let's check it out this one is like insanely trippy the guys that did this app they've got mad skills this is such an underrated app it's crazy underrated oh you can hear the crickets Sometimes I try to look at these things and I'm like, wait a minute, how do they keep going? But they kind of like fade out and then start over or something like that. But these guys did just a crazy fantastic job on this entire thing. And like the glow and stuff. This app needs, you guys, if anybody's watching this and doesn't have this app, you should t definitely buy it. Oh yeah, I think stuff, lights go on and off. You hear the church bell. Let's see if I move. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. This app is so cool. Seriously, this app should have won some awards. I love this app so much. All right, this is the last one. I think they're gonna maybe make some more, but unfortunately, oh, wait. see. No, no, no. Let's go back. Fortunately, they didn't get as good of a response as they hoped for. Or I don't know. I don't want them to stop. I want them to keep making stuff. Okay, let's see. The Creation of Adam by Michelangelo. 1511 through 1512. This iconic depiction of God and the first man is a part of the large ceiling fresco of the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City, Rome, Italy. Yeah. Very interesting. Wait, what's this? Does this do anything? These guys are skilled. All right, let's go back here. 
then check this out. Here we go. Frankly, this kind of scares me with like the open space. I feel like I'm gonna fall. So this was an interesting one. If you look at Adam, I'm just gonna stare at him. Watch what happens. We are drawn closer to Adam. Okay, and I'm not controlling that. I just, if I stare at him, I get closer to him. Now, if I stare at God or Michelangelo's, is that who wrote this? Representation of God. Let's see, is that anything gonna happen yet? Yeah. You can get closer to God. If you stare at God, you get closer to God. If you stare at man, you get closer to man. Yeah, this is uh, interesting for sure. Let's check this out. All right. Well, that's our plunge. Hope you guys liked it. I love this app, it is like so surreal and I highly recommend everybody buy it. I, I wish these guys would have charged more for it, but I did buy it three times. I think it's worth $5.99, definitely, but they are charging $1.99 for it and that's always been the price. I just love this app so much. I'm so happy to be able to experience it in six degrees of freedom after using it on my Oculus Go. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching everyone.